हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन द सीरीज ऑन द इनकम टैक्स केसेस टुडे वी विल डिस्कस ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट केस ऑफ दिल्ली हाई कोर्ट ऑन पेनी स्टॉक एडिशंस द नेम ऑफ द केस इज प्रिंसिपल कमिश्नर ऑफ इनकम टैक्स वर्सेस श्रीमती कृष्णा देवी दिस केस हैज बीन रिपोर्टेड इन 431 थर्टी वन एट पेज नंबर थ्री एंड द मैटर हैज बीन डिसाइडेड बाय दिल्ली हाई कोर्ट एंड द डेट ऑफ द जजमेंट इज फिफ्टीन जनवरी 2021. As all we know, whenever there is an allegation on the assessee that the assessee is involved in shares of those companies whose price have increased substantially, then the department tries to make the addition under the allegation of penny stocks and make the additions under Section 68. If the allegation comes just in the name of penny stock the assessing officer go, gets alert and try to drag the case up to the satisfaction of the addition it doesn't matter whatever the explanation is given by the assessee whatever the evidences are given by the assessee this is the hard fact in the present case although the very strong point of the assessee in the present case was that that the shares were purchased by check and shares were demat at the time of purchase itself even then the assessing officer made the addition the allegation was that the price of the share has been increased many fold the allegation was that the strength of the company was not much to support the price of the share and there was no allegation and there was no inquiry done by the assessing officer that whether the sebi has prohibited from entering into the transaction into the stock exchange there was no inquiry by the sebi stock exchange with respect to the rigging of the price by the assessee or by the stock broker so in the facts and circumstances of the case when the assessing officer made the addition which was deleted by the tribunal and the department made appeal to the high court the court said that just on the basis of generalizations just on the basis of preponderance of probability without specific uh, without specific evidence cannot be cited to turn a blind eye to the evidence the court said that whenever there is a sharp increase in the price it cannot be assumed that the assessee or the broker of the assessee is involved in price rigging the court also said that the share price cannot be always linked to the financial strength of the company in the present case the assessing officer has accepted the purchase cost of the assessee even then the assessing officer made the addition by treating the transaction as sham and at the same time the assessing officer allowed the cost of acquisition so there was a lot of contradiction in the whole assessment order the department blindly relied on the case of sumati deyal versus commissioner of income tax in that regard the delhi high court said that the concept of preponderance of probability cannot be applied as a straight jacket formula it should be applied depending upon the facts and circumstances of the case so when the assessee has given the sufficient evidence so just based on the generalization and just on the basis of preponderance of probability and just because the share price of the company in which the assessee has dealt is not directly linked, linked with the financial strength of the company or just because of the manifold increase in the uh, price of the share it cannot be assumed that the assessee has entered into sham transactions of uh, penny stocks and the addition cannot be made this case is very good as far as the penny stock additions are concerned because in this case the court has emphasized that before making the additions the assessing officer should have done the proper inquiry whether the securities and exchange board of india has prohibited the shares from entering into transactions into the stock exchange there was no evidence for that and uh, contra to that all the evidences submitted by the assessee were ignored 
so the uh, so in the present case the high court dismissed the appeal of the department at the end of this video once again i am repeating the name of the case the name of the case is principal commissioner of income tax versus shrimati krishna devi and the case has been reported in 431 itr at page number 361 the matter has been decided by delhi high court and the date of the judgment is 15th january 2021 thank you friends